Okay, let's get started with this. I know that there's probably, everybody's bound to have heard about the news about the assassination of the mayor of Monta. Uh, it happened yesterday afternoon. Just was not, certainly was not expected. The guy was at a dedication ceremony for a new street, I believe it was, and a couple guys, you know, shot him. And he, you know, unfortunately lost his life. This guy was, was a, in my opinion, I, I think he was a pretty good mayor. I mean, I don't, you know, what do I know about Ecuadorian politics and, and how things were, you know, here in, in the city under previous administrations. But, you know, I'm, we're, the buzz on the street now is people are thinking, oh my God, I'm going to leave. I'm going to get out of here. All the expats are going to want to leave. And there are other expats in there are saying, well, I'm not going there. You know, folks, political unrest is everywhere in the world. I mean, it happens everywhere. And I mean, I'm not trying to justify this. I'm not going to say it's okay to come here, but I would say don't, you know, don't change your plans. You can still come here. You'll be safe. I mean, this was a targeted hit, just like most of the murders that happened in Monta. This year has been rather uh, a busy year with murders, but none of these murders have been random murders like you see in the United States. Not mass shootings, you know, I heard the other day 400 mass shootings now in the United States for this year, and you don't see mass shootings in Ecuador. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm not saying come on down, but I, I am saying uh, don't let this incident stop you from continuing with your plans for your retirement. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. I mean, even in spite of the things that have happened to me in the recent weeks, tickets and just the crappy treatment from the immigration office and, you know, a few other things that I'm not going to talk about. But, you know, and now this, and they're talking about, there's been all kinds of talks on the street about, well, what's going to happen next? There's going to be a lockdown. You know, there's right now, the only thing really that's happening is the city is, has the city council, I guess, has proclaimed or declared that there'll be a three-day mourning period. The mayor is actually being buried in just a couple hours. He was shot yesterday and he's gonna be buried today. Uh, I've heard rumors that there might be a curfew, you know, a late night curfew to get people in. But, you know, I haven't seen it in writing. I don't know that it's factual. So anyway, that's that's all I got to say about it. It's a tragic event. It's it's especially tragic for my friend Stella because Stella's Stella and the mayor's mother were close friends and the mayor's mother supposedly had a heart attack. Uh, we were originally told that she it was fatal, but it turns out that it was not fatal. But she's very sick, as you can imagine. She just lost her son. And uh, Stella had told me stories about how she babysat for this mayor. So it's a tragic event for her as well. So, you know, we, we can ask for your prayers and good thoughts, positive thoughts for Stella and for the the remaining family of the mayor of Monta. So that's all I've got to say today. It's not much of a video. I do have to say that next Monday, uh, God willing, in the in the late afternoon, I don't know what specific time it will be, but I'm going to do a live stream with Dr. Gladys Garcia, and we're going to talk about health care, and, and boy, have I got some stuff to tell you tell you about okay there will be an official announcement about it later in the week i do want to say this and then i'll let you go when i do the live stream i will the first probably 30 minutes of it it may be not that long but it'll be just me and and dr garcia chatting about issues and so forth and then we're going to open up uh, for questions okay we'll do the best we can i'm going to have to be interviewing her this will be the second interview with her and controlling the live stream and watching the comments all come in i have to do everything myself so uh, bear with me if it runs a little rough so okay uh thanks so much for watching folks and i will talk to you uh, later on ciao ciao